Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go over a more in-depth video on the software for the 6-axis robotic arm uh, control interface. Um, again, this is a web-based interface. And so far I've had some videos showing the interface off, uh, showing the wiring for the AR4 uh, robot. But now I'm going to go into details on how to get that software up and running and a little bit about how the software is set up. Um, <clears throat> so basically there is two Git repositories. There is Servo and there is Robot Viewer. Uh, Robot Viewer is the front end interface uh, that has the simulator and can be run without uh, that Servo uh, and it will just basically be a six axis robot arm simulator. Um, so what is this repository? Well, it's just a React and an Express app. Um, so if you look at the readme here, uh, it's a simulator and controller interface for 6-axis ARM. Um, there are two directories in here. There's client and there's server. Uh, the client has a React app. The server has an Express app. Um, to get started, you can just pull this repo down, uh, run npm install, and run npm start dev. So if we pop over to the... Um, if we pop over to the interface here, the terminal, and I'm going to go ahead and run npm run start colon dev. You can see we've booted that up. And if I go over here to localhost 3000, we can see that the simulator uh, will load. Just give that a second. And there is our robot arm simulator. So as you can see, I can use my arrow keys. This is the up and uh, down arrows to move the robot around, um, forward and back. I can tell it to go to a specific location. I can control uh, all the different joints. I have a whole in-depth video going over how to use this interface. Um, but that's only so much fun. Eventually, you're going to want to actually uh, use it to control a real robot. And that is where this other Git repository comes into play. So Servo is, a, uh, is basically the code that runs on the Raspberry Pi. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get yourself a Raspberry Pi and you're going to want to uh, clone this repository onto that Raspberry Pi. Okay, so that's half the battle. Now once you have this code on the Raspberry Pi, you need to make sure that your Raspberry Pi is connected to uh, a Teensy. Now Servo is code that is designed to control the uh, AR4 robot. I'm also building other code to control other robots, but that's what we're going to talk about specifically today is the AR4 robot. And to control the AR4 robot, you have to have the AR4 wired to a Teensy. There's another video, which I will link in the description, on how to wire the Teensy for the AR4 robot to be used with this software. It's basically exactly, it's very close to the same way that Chris Annan has his wiring, uh, but slightly different. Um, it's different because instead of using uh, his uh, Arduino sketch, I instead decided or had to in order to use the JavaScript control uh, format the Arduino or Teensy in this case with uh, this Formata library. Uh, so if we go down to the readme, we'll learn a little bit more about that. Um, so first thing that you'll need to do is install a custom Formata. So if I go ahead and open this up, you'll see that there's this Formata builder. Right, and what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that you have uh, Excel stepper formatta on there, um, and uh, you're going to want to have stepper formatta. You can basically just check most of these boxes off, um, and you're going to want to also include formatta encoder. Right, um, once you have these checked off, uh, you're going to want to download that formatta, and you're going to want to have it on your computer. Uh, when you have it on your computer, uh, and you're also going to need, because of the um, encoder, you're going to need to have the encoder library installed uh, in addition to your libraries on your Arduino. Um, once you have those on your computer, um, you need to do a couple more small things. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that um, the formatta that it's being used is actually my uh, fork of it. Uh, which you shouldn't have a problem with because I have this as a dependency in the package JSON. But I wanted to note that I'm not using straight up uh, Formata.js. I'm using my version of it. Why did I do that? Because Formata.js does not support the encoder um, 
the encoder stuff for Formata. I had to update it to do that, and they have not merged my um, my pull request yet. Um, in addition, you need to make a couple small edits to the source code in the configurable Formata. This is what will get built from the Formata builder, right? So you're going to have some sketches in the uh, configurable Formata directory, and in there, you have to open up the Excel stepper.cpp file and you have to change the minimum pulse width from 1 to 8. Uh, this is important because if you don't do this, then you will have um, issues because the stepper motors won't actually spin because some of the controllers require a greater pulse width than 1. Um, once you do that, uh, the last thing that you need to do to get up and running is you'll have to open up Configurable Formata's uh, utility directory. Uh, and you're going to have to find uh, a boards.h file in there. And in there, you need to add this uh, because the boards.h, at the time of this video's recording, does not have the correct um, information for a Teensy 4.1 uh, or a 4.0. So once you do that, once you use the Formata Builder, uh, check those boxes, um, you know, get the encoder package, uh, and make these edits to these files here. Uh, you can actually just go ahead and um, you know write that uh, formata to the Arduino like you would any other sketch. Just write it to the Teensy, uh, and then you're good to go. Um, once that's written to the Teensy, you can basically go over and you can SSH um, into your uh, Raspberry Pi, like I've done here, and you can see I have that. Uh, package checked out here. I already ran an npm install to get all my dependencies. And all you need to do is uh, basically run, and I, I believe if I didn't add this into the readme, I will add it into the readme. Um, you need to run this command. So basically, this turns on debug logging. Um, you run the index.js uh, file. Uh, you say what port um, and what the IP address of the host is. Now the host is where the robot viewer is running. Which in this case, my IP address of my MacBook is 192.168.0.117, um, and that's running on port 3000. So by uh, entering those, you'll actually see on the left side of my screen here that uh, a robot was found and connected and sends its state. Um, and if I were to go, and there's it saying that all of the motors are ready to go. Uh, and if I go over to the browser here, you can actually see that if I click this here, uh, we are now connected to that robot. Um, so again, it's important you put the correct IP address and port, uh, and it will just show up in this dropdown. Uh, it will also show up in the dropdown over here, uh, and you can select a specific motor to control uh, in the motor view, uh, and that's it. So you get those things um, installed and flash the Teensy, um, get the code on the Raspberry Pi, um, run that command, and you're good to go. Um, and that's all for today. Thank you very much.